And good evening, everybody. Welcome back to Music Free Gaming here on Twitch Tuesday. So I am streaming here on Twitch uh, today. Uh, let's see. Let's see where to uh, start. Jump. Oops. All right. Hey, let's uh, actually click the right thingy. Okay. And hope I can re remember what the controls are. It's always the uh, it's always the fun, isn't it? Okay. So, all right. So I was over here, failing badly, I think, last time. So let's go ahead and give this a shot. See if I can do any better. Let's see. I think I mean that would be that would be a fun one. Let's see. The uh volcano. I, don't, I haven't driven that one yet, so it'll be interesting. Let's see. Where else? Is the ant okay. Could be good. I've driven this one a bunch. Well, let's try. <laughs> I don't know that I want to try the uh, that concept there, but I do think let's give this one a shot. Let's see. Go with my green and lightning flavor that I like so much, and uh, let's see. <laughs> See if I can have at least some control over my car. <laughs> All right, let's get this party started. Whoa! All right. Well, we shall see. I'll get back in line here. Oh, it's gonna get messy. <laughs> it did. <laughs> It got messy. Whoa. Alright. Okay, I'm gonna end up in the trees. <laughs> oh no. Alright, come on. Let's not run over any of those those poor people over there. That would be bad. I think they would frown on getting run over. I know I don't wouldn't like getting hit by a car going, you know, 95 miles an hour. Heck, I wouldn't want to get hit by a car going nine miles an hour. So, okay. Yeah, reset to try. Reset to try. Wrong way. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Okay, that was, oh, post, that was really bad. I was doing okay there for a minute, and <laughs> then I wasn't. Okay. Oh, ah. I think this car handles too well. Might need something a little less... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, holy cow. <laughs> oh, I'm doing so bad. I might be able to catch up here. Oh! Rain barrels. Okay. Well, there's the rest of the pack. I'm going to start to catch up here a little bit. Three quarters of the race down. Uh, don't know. Okay. I don't know if I'm supposed to use the guardrails to steer, but uh, hey, why not? Okay. 
Alright, well. We have to use the other cards just to that would be okay too, right? Well. Oh. Okay, well, we'll move on, but I might rerun this one again here after. Uh, since he just barely beat me out for the number two spot. Just barely. <laughs> but hey, uh. That's sort of okay? <laughs> ah, yes. Ooh! Night race. That's gonna be scary. It's rough because you can't see the track. Alright, so just uh, slide in here like so much. Okay, drifting. Drifting would be great if I could stop doing it. bit of a slide, and a lot of bit of a slide turning. Hey, come on. <laughs> sure. We're not supposed to stay on the track? That just seems silly. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I, hmm. steering would be great. Having control of my car would be fabulous. I should really try that. It's one of those times maybe a wheel would be nice. <laughs> wow. Rather than uh, <laughs> the controller, but hey, I don't have a steering wheel. So, uh, what's that to do with the, uh, with <laughs> hopefully minute movements of my thumb? Okay. And the you know, help of some, you know, helpful uh, walls and things, right? Okay. Um. Huh. Uh, man. Well, I never claim to be a good. Okay. Oh, that was bad. I'm, I'm definitely going to have to run this uh, series again, because holy cow, that was horrible. <laughs> okay. I don't know why I'm getting... Flames up shooting out of the back of my car, but I'm sure it's... Because it's, this is secretly the Batmobile or something. Man, Batman's going to be ticked. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think we'll beat that time, which was great, but uh, still really far back here. <laughs> Okay, well, oh, sign. Um, sure. <laughs> wow. Okay, well, I can drift, I guess. We have points for drifting, right? Right? And again, it's not like you have to stay on the road or anything. <laughs> okay. Let's see if I can catch up with the rest of these players up here. <laughs> In the blue spot. Okay. Come on. Around the corner. Turn faster. 
<laughs> yeah, I'm... Okay. Let's just restart this round, huh? <laughs> Since it's... See if I can do a little bit better this time. I have not had a lot of success here on this round. Whoa. Okay. Alright, well that was... Okay. I think some breaks would be uh, apropos there. Not much. Whoa. Also... We can do it. We can travel fast and outrun them. Wait. Okay. Well, we have a little bit of ground here. This car doesn't drive on dirt. It slides. It's like the toddler on ice skates. <laughs> okay. This. <laughs> There's no friction. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we're catching up. So, let's see. We're going to see the uh, you know, announcements from Google's little uh, thing today. They announced... Uh, couple of things. First was their uh, new mobile phone, um, the Pixel, the Pixel XL, which are like a five and a five and a half, six inch type uh, uh, phone. Whoa. Okay, I can get on the track eventually. There we go. I just want to cut that scribble up. Anyway, so we announced these new phones. Um, I think the, the Pixel starts at uh, 650 for the phone, uh, which is significantly higher than the old Nexus line used to be. Those, were, those used to be in sort of the 350 range. And uh, still some speculation that that might be the reason for the name change, why these aren't Nexus phones, is they're trying to um, use the Pixel name for their sort of high-end stuff. It's like the Chromebook Pixel, which was a really expensive uh, Chromebook. Alright. Yeah. Wow. And there I go. Well, so much for that. All right, one more time. Anyway, so the new Pixel. Um, it uh, could be interesting. I mean, I like I like a lot of what Google does with their phones. Whoa. Okay. 
Wow, where did that go? It's like suddenly, I just wasn't going the direction that I wanted to go anymore. Man, this... I do not do well with these. Alright. Try this again. <laughs> Hopefully. Um, anyway, so... So that phone's out. Um, and then they're really pushing uh, their new app, Allo. A-L-L-O. Uh, as the new messaging app. It's like they're sort of trying to phase out Hangouts, kind of, sort of, without uh, actually killing it off yet. Google likes the, uh, Google likes to sometimes have multiple products doing the same thing and just see which one wins. Wow. Okay. Come on. So, this whole uh, other car thing. Not working for me. <laughs> I'd have made it around that turn too if it weren't for the for those pesky kids. Um. <laughs> but anyway, so Aloe's out, and it's it's instant messaging and some SMS um, with the ability to draw on the screen, which I guess is cool. Yeah. Sometimes I think I'd just do better in a 4x4. I could just cut right through the... right through the dirt. <laughs> the other thing they announced was uh, Google Assistant, which is tied into Allo, and is sort of their... Uh, sort of an improvement on the... Uh, the Google stuff, or, or Google stuff. Surprisingly, Google is doing Google things. Break hard on going into that turn. Um, but they've had their uh, uh, predictive stuff on Android for a while, and then their uh, assistant. You know, if you said it was a, you know, okay Google or whatever. <laughs> All your phones now lit up. Um, but, uh, and so I think they're trying to build on that, trying to build a little bit better Siri type killer. Though honestly, Google, Google Now, um, has been, uh, actually been pretty good. It's been, I've been happy with it when it's popped up on my phone for various reasons. Okay, I had to, one of the things that was interesting, I, had to, I was picking my daughter up from the, the airport. She was, boy, I'm going to have to figure that turn out, because I'm just not doing well on it. Anyway, I was picking my daughter up from the airport, and uh, so I had her uh, flight information in my email. And it just popped up on my phone. Oh, flight's in, it's on time. Uh, you know, it'll be a gate, whatever. You know, all that good stuff. There we go. Uh, and, so, and that was really convenient. I like having that information just show up there for me. You know, so that, that was cool. Uh, so I'd like to see, you know, if the system does any better. Come on, how do we go? There we go. Hey, who would you know? I actually was able to round the turn. I think I might still be too far back. I might get third. Well, I think I got fourth. But hey, it was a better run than the last one. <laughs> yeah, I got fourth just. Two hundredths of a second. Oh man. Anyway, so uh, so 
be interesting to see. I mean, Aloe's into all sorts of stuff, so, you know, if you're into privacy, you may not want to uh, get into that one. All right, well, I'll try a different race and see if I can do any better. These supercars are, are kicking my tail, man. I think I'll skip the drift. Let's see what's up on this one. Try that. Um, you know, this could be fun. Let's try this one. Just because. <laughs> Why not? Okay. Um, so, so they announced Pixel. They announced Aloe. They also announced a new... Um, a new little toy Google Home. Oh, this is one of those ones. I was not paying attention. Wow. Okay. They announced this new thing called uh, Google Home. It's sort of, sort of uh, designed to compete with Amazon Alexa. Whoops. Um, back. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I forgot how to turn. <laughs> Anyway, the whole thing is it sits there and listens, and you talk to it, and it tells you things. Sometimes those things are probably even accurate. Um, but I've heard people rave about Alexa. Uh, so, you know, I don't have, have one, so I couldn't tell you. I certainly don't have a need for one of those types of things, and I didn't really need it listening to my entire life, so... Okay. That's not too bad. Whoa, and then suddenly it comes out hard. Alright, let's try this again. Okay, that wasn't a bad line. Um, so they had that, and then the Google had their new. Uh, Too much, too much. <laughs> anyway, then they had their new uh, uh, Google Wi-Fi stuff, which is a bunch of... You get a, it's basically smaller little Wi-Fi uh, devices. Uh, Wi-Fi uh, APs, basically. And... Uh, it would... I mean, you can get a, a small one for, for say, an apartment, and you can get a, like a three-pack, and it'll help spread the Wi-Fi around your house, so you get decent speeds throughout your house. Okay, it's not too bad. Let's see if I can improve on that. Any. I kind of like this car. I don't really like how it handles. Okay, wall, good enough. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll crash into the wall if it means not you know, losing like, 18 seconds turning the car around. <laughs> okay. Now this is a pretty significant... Whoa! Got caught on the little edge there. Okay. This is kind of good. Uh, oh, whoa. Okay. Well, I was doing okay right up until I wasn't. <laughs> All right. Good enough. I'm going to finish that. Didn't get the uh, less than 56 seconds, but that's okay. Um, so, anyway, so Google's got that going too. So, the most interesting things from there. You know, Google made this, whatever they call it, announcement. Um, oh, this is run this one. Um, oh, it's a time trial. The I can do another time trial. It's okay. Anyway, um, and I guess I'm driving this car, which uh, apparently I've driven before. Anyway, so the, uh, 
I totally lost my train of thought. It was I'm still boarding at the station. I guess. But yeah, I guess their their new stuff, which is looking exciting, is uh, it's really their fun. Ones. Whoa. Ah. Here's a turn. Let's see if I can... Well, that is going to be a... Sharp turn. Okay. Well, that worked. <laughs> you know, when there aren't other cars on the track, I'm just too badly, I guess. Or until I do, I mean, it's... Or, you know, I suppose staying on the track would be helpful. <laughs> um, one of the things that was speculated that Google would talk about that they didn't was uh, what's been referred to as uh, Project Andromeda, which uh, is a suspected attempt by Google to merge Android and Chrome OS. Um, oh, I have to break hard there. Okay. Yeah, take that at 20 miles an hour or something. Come on. Right on the turn of the left. Okay. <laughs> you know, it's... Google's had a, it was an interesting split with Android on mobile devices and Chrome OS on their laptop deals. Whoa! Yeah, I, I like Chrome OS actually. I've got, uh, I've got three of them in the house right now. Actually, four, five of them actually. I've got my old, I have one of the original CR48s that Google did, did their early trials with. I ended up part of their uh, their beta program on that. Uh, whoa! Yeah. Let's try the emergency brake. Yeah, see how that works. Cactus! Ooh, lizard! Oh. So I've got one of those. I've got a... I have a Chromebook from work, but... It's hard to really consider it a Chromebook since I put Linux in it. Um, now technically Chrome OS is Linux, but I put a... Full of Linux distro on it. Uh, but the kids have one. And actually, they, their school provided them with uh, Chromebooks, so they've got a couple there too. And they work really well for that. They work well for actually probably 90% of what people use um, a computer for. But where Google got caught with Chromebooks is the hard shift to phones and tablets as the uh, main computing device. Now I can understand tablets to some extent because they're big enough you can kind of see what you're doing. But a phone is uh, pretty small to be a primary computing device. Hmm. Oh, I got a tonnage trophy. I have no idea what that means, but I got one. <laughs> Did not break any of those. Okay. All right. Um. And so they've they've tried some of those. I don't like the drifts. I need 122 stars. <laughs> I have 116. <laughs> All right, so which Ferrari do I want? That one or this one? I think this one. I've driven it before. That'll it'll work. Um. So yeah, they got, they got of course Android is was a huge success, um, but has some has some issues. Um, you know, I don't fault them for making it open source, but with the, I think that was a great idea. And helped lead to a lot of adoption. But uh, they definitely ran into some issues 
with uh, handset manufacturers we put Android on a phone and then just not update it ever. We need some security issues and uh, oh, that was not that was not good. Just uh, <laughs> Google adapted in some ways by putting a lot of their own uh, stuff in add-ons. Rather than the main OS, they put a lot of their stuff in uh, Google Play services and that type of thing. Which uh, is fine, but can make the phone almost useless if you're not using those. Uh, but yeah, so it's interesting, and they just announced, um, oh, was a few months ago now, I guess I'm not going that way, come on, jeez, my minivan corner is better, at least it's got better turning radius, yeah, um, But uh, anyway, Google announced here a couple of, well, a few months ago, general availability of Android on uh, on Chrome. So you can run Android apps on Chrome OS. And then they announced that they're killing off uh, Chrome apps, which is how so many, uh, which is how they were pushing for third-party apps on Chrome OS. Now they're, uh, boy, that was bad. Now they're just, uh, yeah, crashing into things. Now they've, now they've got Android running on the Chrome devices. Yeah, they don't really need those anymore. The catch is, I think a lot of those apps were better suited to the Chromebook than so many of these uh, mobile conversions, you know. Uh, a lot of these apps that are designed for phones are almost useless or the UI it doesn't make as much sense when you've got a mouse and keyboard and the ones on tablets well often it's the same UI anyway but a lot of them are pretty ripples uh, my wife complains about some of the apps that she uses on her tablet uh, compared to using them on her web browser because they just don't offer all of the things that she needs where she expects to find them and, or at all or any of those types of things. So, took that a little fast but recovered. You know, gonna come in, well, oh I think I edged him out for third. <laughs> I did, I did, by six thousandths of a second. <laughs> Sorry, Raya, you're uh, out of luck. But hey, top three. Woo! Okay. <laughs> Let's see if I can get if I can get top three in the next one. I should be able to have top three overall, so it'd be great. Um anyway, yeah, so that uh But that could be fun. Um we'll see. And maybe if Andromeda is seriously a real thing, which right now it's sort of speculated, so I'm not sure how actually uh, how real of a project it is. But if it's a real thing, it may be good. Yeah, it might be good for everybody involved, you know? Whoa. So, you know, it'll be. It'll be worth seeing as uh, time goes on. Okay, I wanted to be part of that sagebrush. Now. Okay. Hey, what do you know? I made it around the turn. Okay, oh, there we go. Still in fifth, but at least, you know, fifth is better than 10th than where I've often ended up. Okay. Here's 
my chance to crash hard. Yep, there we go. That's the driving I've been accustomed to. <sighs> Sheesh. So all of the skill you come to expect from <laughs> watching me play drive club here in Music for Gaming. Anyway, yeah, so it's so it'll be interesting to see actually how Google deals with that. And even more importantly, if they do roll out uh, Andromeda with, a, with some sort of hybrid of Android Armour. Okay, seriously? You know, let's just give this a restart. Um, if they do roll out some sort of hybrid, um, what, do you, what happens to the existing ecosystem? And they can't just write off all of those Android apps. There are too many of them. There's too much invested in them. I think it's one of the reasons Windows phones and Windows Mobile that doesn't really uh, doesn't really got any mind share was the lack of apps. You know, um, the vast majority of people they they buy a phone they want to they want to know that it'll run. You know, Candy Crush or uh, you know whatever the whatever app was du jour is Pokemon Go and all that other fun stuff, right? If it doesn't, then nobody's going to buy it. So you know, it'll be it'll be interesting to see. I mean, I'm, I think what they'll probably do, I and mean, it'll probably support Android apps out of the box. Uh, they'll probably come out with some announcement. Android apps are now Andromeda apps. And, uh, or they'll just change the name. Or, you know, keep the Android name. But, I don't know. Changing the name might solve some interesting, potentially legal issues. Microsoft has managed to pressure companies... Um, to pay them royalties for using Android. Um, to the point I sometimes wonder, wonder if uh, Microsoft isn't making more off Android than Google is. Um, oh, okay. That was a lot tighter turn than I was thinking it was. Okay, come around, come around, come around, come around. So yeah, I mean, they, anyway, so Google could keep the Android name. Okay, turn. Alright. Shut the door in. Oh yeah, this turn is this one. Oh, overcompensated on the drift. <laughs> uh, so I don't know. I don't know if Android's gonna uh, will go away if Andromeda is announced. I mean, I I can't see that happening. I don't, certainly don't can't see all of the apps going away. Oh come on! Really? Really? I can't even get started. <laughs> that was so bad. It was so, so bad. Okay. Alright, I'm close enough to the end here, I think. Yeah. I'm not going to be able to catch up, so we'll just restart this round. I just have to finish in the top three. I don't even have to win. Oh, Corte Daylight. <laughs> It'd be a little easier to see. The other thing I need to do is figure out how to just finish that spin. 
if I get into a spin like that, how can I whip that thing around into a 380 instead, or 360 instead of a 180? I was a math major. I know what degrees are. <laughs> Yes, I, I laugh. I have a degree in mathematics. My arithmetic skills are pretty lousy at this point. I just don't do it that much. <sighs> okay, anyway. So yeah, good stuff there. And of course, uh, Google's making this huge play for uh, you know, Google Home. They bought... Um, it was like a Nest, I think it was, a while back, and all of that home automation stuff. And I think what they'll, what they'll be doing is with the rollout of this new uh, uh, tower thing they have this Alexa competitor, which they announced a name for, I just forgot what it was. Maybe it was Google Home, I don't know. But they uh, rolled that thing out. And I think... Well, this is not going to end well. Okay. Maybe better than I expected. Uh, with some integration with Nest, it might end up being a powerful thing, but I'm not entirely sure how we, that home renovation is actually a thing that enough people want. I, mean, I certainly know there are a lot of people who use it, buying into it, but I don't think that those are generally your uh, your average run-of-the-mill you know, tech user. Uh, okay, this is going to be fun. Oh, okay. Obviously, I should be going faster than that, according to the guy who just slammed into my bumper. <laughs> hey, I successfully navigated an S-turn. Whoa! A definite maybe. I kind of sort of actually made it around that track. Let's see if I can cut this. Whoa! Well, I did. I definitely cut the turn. Ooh! Don't lose it now. Don't lose it now. I right, just keep the door closed. Yes! <laughs> I actually won! Woo! <laughs> hit that uh, top speed but finish the championship and stuff so <laughs> hooray <laughs> ah sweet oh hey um while this is uh, 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 while I'm getting into the next race take a moment and follow the follow music free gaming here on twitch that's uh twitch.tv slash music free gaming new Ferrari well I guess that's good Ferrari Italia Ooh, okay I could actually do this one now. before I do that let me try one of these do do the British maybe see how I see if I can do I did that one. Um, yeah, let's let's go this. I liked how it handled when I drove the last time, so give it a shot. Okay. Anyway, yeah. So it's just I don't. It's not like um, home automation is not like a, a phone, something that everybody's got, right? Or everybody wants or everyone sees a need for. So I'm not sure if there's a niche there, if there's enough of a niche there for... Hello. This old, uh, I don't know what that car is um, running off the road, but... Uh, it's a, you know, it looks like an old open-wheel job, even though it's a, it's a new high-performance vehicle. 
must be if it's competing in this class. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Too much, too much, too much. Too much speed. Okay. Up the hill we go. Up the hill we go. That would be interesting. I don't know if they have it in any of their... Uh, track you know, or uh, series packs here, but if they had the Pikes Peak Hills Hill Climb, that would be an interesting, uh, interesting thing to show up in one of the races. Every year, I think it is, they, uh, they race, uh, they race cars up Pikes Peak. Uh, it's rather uh, twisty twisty track, as you might expect, facing up a, a mountain. Um, oh, almost gave me a boost enough to get up there. But it's also a very dangerous track, because if you uh, end up off the track, you end up falling several thousand feet, um, which is, turns out, bad for your car and your health. They, they actually, I think they had a racer die on that, uh, that race this year. So yeah, definitely not. Uh, I mean, it's definitely an exciting race. <laughs> you want safety, not the race for you. Whoa. Uh, okay. Well, we got this, maybe. So, yeah, I don't know, what do you guys think? Uh, if you're out there in uh, chat rooms, uh, what do you think? Do you think this, all the, this whole automation stuff is going to take off? Is it going to, am I just, you know, old and out of touch with reality? I mean, that, those two are not mutually exclusive, uh, you know. They could not take off, and I could be old and out of touch. <laughs> Well, crashed him into a snowbank, and it's almost something. Boy, this is gonna get crowded here in a hurry. Yeah, right there. Alright. Let's see if I can. Oh, took that turn a little bit late. Oh. Also, what do you think of the, the new. New uh, Google Pixel that was announced today. I mean, you think it'll be any good? You know, and, uh, is it the iPhone killer that I saw? Seen a couple of people refer to it as. Um, not that Google needs an iPhone killer. Android is far and away uh, has more more uh, market share than Apple does. Okay. Well, didn't get the top three. Let's continue on to the next race, then. Oh, um, while this is loading, I should also point out you can support the show by going to gofundme.com slash musicfreegaming. Or, if you're watching here on Twitch, the channel info, uh, you can also hit the PayPal link there and go to a donate page. And you can donate a one-time fee, you can, uh, you know, subscribe and donate monthly, that's all good. So, check those things out. Also, I mentioned, hey, you can follow me here on Twitch, of course, it's fabulous. Uh, but I also stream at youtube.com slash musicfreegaminglive. It's actually where my, most of my streaming is done except for my uh, weekly stream here on Twitch. But it is, it is also where the Twitch uh, streams get archived, so catch up with all of those there. All right. Well, that turned out to be not horrific, but this turn went to me. Yep, there it goes. Well, uh, any thoughts I have of him? Delusions of adequacy are going right out the window. Huh? Okay. 
is I don't feel like I'm really that far off. It's not like some of the things that I've done where it's like 10th and it's like I struggled to get in last place. Um, this is one of those where it feels like I, I'm just a few mistakes away from actually finishing in the top three. So I just have to get that sorted out. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I don't like drifting so much. I don't like how uh, you're intentionally losing control. Or something like that. Seems a little silly, but. <laughs> See, it's little things like that that keep me from, uh, <laughs> from winning, right? Little things like facing the right direction on the track. Alright, let's see if I can catch up with uh, Camille here. No, nope, not that way. Uh, let's see, let's see. See if there's any other. If I remember seeing any other interesting tech news uh, or gaming news. Not really. Sort of a quiet time. So uh, I don't have the time to look at the news that I used to. Whoa! Well, geez. Got sort of sandwiched there between the cars and wall, and it ended up badly for me. Anyway, as I was saying, I don't even have the time to read the news that I used to have, because almost all of my free time has been given over to my super secret project, which uh, it's a lot of work. I'm very excited about it, and I will tell you all about it when I'm done. Until then, But, we're only about, I don't know, maybe, maybe a third of the way done with, uh, with it, maybe, maybe a little more. Uh, so, so that's a good thing, but I'll be working on it for the next uh, couple of months. Right. Hey, you know, got around the corner. Now, if I don't blow it here on this turn, I might actually, I might actually finish this in first. Boom! See, just a couple of uh, clean up a couple of mistakes. And that's all I need. Half a second lead. It's not too bad. Second overall. Hey, and the lap time even. Well, that's cool. Oh, 
Right. That's, uh... <laughs> That's pretty nice. Okay. Let's see, what time is it? Oh, quarter after seven. Okay. Do I want to try the... That, or do I want to go for the trophy? And there's ledger trophy. Okay. Well. Let's go for the pro trophy. See, uh... See how badly I can screw this up. You know, I think I might stay with this one. It's been working for me. Let's see. Top three in each of the races. First in championship. <laughs> well, that's a... That's going to be a challenge. Yes, and for those of you who tuned in looking for the vice presidential debate, uh, you're in the wrong place. <laughs> also, if you tune in looking for the vice presidential debate, uh, maybe you need to go rethink your life choices. Okay. This kind of breaks pretty well. Right? That's the... That's a nice thing about it. Okay. So speed, acceleration, drifting, that's all good. Braking abilities, nice too. Okay. Alright, let's just slip inside there on that turn. Aha! Uh -huh. Yep. Just can't handle the S turns. I don't know why. I oversteer, I think, is what it is. The one drawback to this car is it doesn't have the greatest top speed. For the most part, it doesn't really matter. There aren't a whole lot of aren't that many places to really open it up and hit that top speed. But uh I can't do it. I should be able to drive twisty. I should be able to drive twisty turns. I drive mountain passes, but I don't drive them at 100 miles an hour. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes 45. But, uh, some of the some of the ones around me. There's a. Uh, there's a song, C.W. McCall did a song way back in the day called Wolf Creek Pass, which was about a pass in southern Colorado called, surprisingly enough, Wolf Creek Pass. And it's, uh, it is a n pretty nasty pass, actually, to drive. Um, it's gotten better. They were, they've, uh, they put in a couple of tunnels and a couple of things to make that a little bit nicer to uh, to drive, but it's still a beast. I think the last time I drove it was in the middle of a snowstorm at, at like two in the morning, um, which turns out to be not the best time, uh, or not the best of driving conditions. Uh, on the other hand, there was no one else on the road, so uh, <laughs> it wasn't. It was sort of okay. I mean, I took the whole pass at like 15 and 20 miles an hour. Uh, whoa! Wowzers! Okay. Uh, I am getting seriously left behind by those top uh, top cars up there. The other car for keeping me on the line. I'm going to go right through that. Thank you very much. Ah, but yeah, it was, it was bad. The snow was 
snow was falling heavy enough. Of course, it was dark because it's two in the freaking morning. Um, but man, it was it was rough because I couldn't see uh, the right hand side of the road, which was bad because that's the side of the road that drops a thousand feet to the ravine floor so often. So as I was coming eastbound over the pass. The other side I could see fine because it was a cliff going up. So I had a cliff going up on my left and a cliff going down on my right. And uh, I decided rather than hit either of those cliffs, I would uh, take my half out of the middle. And that worked out okay. Uh, fifth. Huh? Well, it's a... Uh, well... It's enough. We'll keep keep going, I guess. <laughs> Need to get finished with thirty points to pass the thing, I guess. But huh. okay. I'll tell you, that was a scary trip down that hill. <laughs> I think they ended up closing the... Actually, I don't know if they did close the pass. I never did find out if that if they ended up closing it behind me or not, but... Uh, looked out of... Whoa! Um, wow. Well, that was a little strange. It felt like I was sort of like flying for no particular reason. Yeah, it's a little different here between playing Drive Club. I'm used to playing uh, racers a little, that are a little bit more arcadey. There's things like uh, Need for Speed and Mario Kart, you know. <laughs> if you want something that has no bearing on reality, there's Mario Kart. Can I drop a blue shell on that Ferrari up front? Uh, Red shells would be good here. Get a mushroom and speed boost. Okay. And I think uh, we'll just do this. Give the brakes a little love tap. Also, for the cars. Oh, did get over in time? Shut the door on. But I accelerate better than you guys, so I guess that's okay. Whoa. Okay, there we go. Well, got that one. Okay, now. Sure, that's the ticket. <laughs> Just to get knocked around. Oh, let's see. Of course, Halloween is coming up. So, you know, I've been seeing Halloween candy in the store for like a month. <laughs> like, welcome. Back to school sales are done. Time to fork out the Halloween candy. We, of course, get some Halloween candy for Halloween, but we also end up hitting the, uh, the very epic uh, post-Halloween candy sales. You know, put all of their Halloween candy at like half off. And uh, sometimes if you get there in time, you can find some good, good stuff. Other times it's, you know, mediocre things. But we then get that candy and save it and put it in stockings for Christmas. Because nothing says Christmas like skeletons and spiders and jack-o'-lanterns and things. But it's a heck of a lot cheaper than buying Christmas candy for Christmas. It turns out chocolate has a shelf life that's more than sufficient. Well, that, speaking of sufficient, uh, 
that was not my what I would consider a word to use for my private. Well, that might be sufficient. It might be not good, but it might be enough. Whoa, whoa. Too much, too much, too much steering. Too much steering. It's like the guy who uh, commented on Mozart's uh, Mozart opera. Is it too many notes? Okay. <laughs> Not that my driving is anything close to a Mozart opera. huge fan of Mozart. He wrote some really cool things. Um, but he was, he still sort of sat in that uh, sort of traditional classical period that I'm not a huge fan of. Um, you know, I, I like, I'm more like uh, Beethoven, especially as he got into some of the romantic era stuff. Um, but I really like some of those Russian Romantic composers, uh, you know, Rimsky Korsakov and uh, Tchaikovsky and those types of uh, those guys, Stravinsky. Right? I really like the the Rite of Spring. Oh, hey, got first place. The Rite of Spring is so cool. Yeah, talk about disruptive music. You know, it's got a got a ballet that causes riots in, in France, you know you've got a hit on your hand. <laughs> and I moved up to number two overall, so that's good. Mm. But yeah, the, the Rite of Spring is such a great, great piece. Um, and, uh, oh, Dvorak's Ninth Symphony. This is so cool. I don't listen to them very much anymore, but man, they're, they're such amazing pieces of music. The other one that's fun, my wife introduced me to it, was uh, it's a piece called Scheherazade. Uh, who wrote that one? You know, Scheherazade. I don't know what she wrote. Um, but yeah, I, uh, Scheherazade is such a fun, fun, fun piece. Um, we were we were in college, and she was uh, she said she introduced me to a lot of those uh, composers. And, uh, whoa. and there we go. Well, not one of four, so I guess. Uh, Still have time to catch up. But yeah, if you get a chance, you to move for some uh, really good. So what, what so many people call classical music, but it's actually uh, romantic music, romantic era music. Uh, go hunt up Scheherazade and Project's Night. Right next night, Symphony. Yeah, those are those are cool. All right. Well, it turns out my zero points couldn't beat my 64 points in the last uh, draft turn. So. Whoa! Took that a little fast, but I think I can move up on. Okay. <laughs> okay. 
I guess I'll take that. Might have got a chance to move up here into third. Whoops. There we are. Whoa. Oh. The other car braking system. Turns out, don't recommend uh, putting on the family sedan. But, uh, <laughs> Slam the door on him, but just sort of keep him from getting by. But in the end, I was able to back that finished right there for that section is in the way. I want to be able to see that turn better, and I couldn't because uh, this the stripe was in the way. Okay. Five the turn, so that's a that's a plus anyway. Yeah. Oh, got him. <laughs> Only got second, but I kept edged out old Alfie over there. All right. Didn't. Uh, win the championship, but not in the top three, so... <laughs> Hooray for our side! And I got a Lotus! As opposed to a Locust, which is totally different. Ooh, that's a... Fancy. Very rough, huh? Alright, cool. Sweet! Well, I can take that. <laughs> Alright. So what do we got? Ooh, hypercar mess. That's gonna be crazy. Alright, well hey, we got some time. Let's try this uh try this rally. And hypercars. Alright. Well it looks I mean I've driven this one. Um and that one. I've had a couple that I've just, uh... Boy, I have a feeling that one's gonna just get away from me hard. So there's the Hennessy that I just won, but the handling is... Let's try it. Let me just... <laughs> it's worth a shot, I suppose. <clears throat> we'll uh, see how this goes. Alright. See if I can. Uh... Hey, turn one is a success. That's it. <laughs> really well. I have to give it all sorts of credit for that. Whoa. You know? It's a... Uh... <laughs> Alright. Can't see this turn. There we go. Well, I mean, there was a small mountain in the way. I got free to... For that moment, I didn't uh, end up 
spinning around facing the wrong way. Seriously, this is this is skinny. I don't feel like there's room for my car on this road. Do I don't even fit in the lane? You know. Oh. Okay. Sure. Put that in force field. All right. Well, let me start. <laughs> So the sunflowers. A couple of places uh, around here, you go up driving past uh, some fields of sunflowers. It's really pretty. Now I kind of I live in a desert, so you know, you know fields of flowers aren't that common. Get a fields of potatoes. There are a lot of potatoes down here. Yep. Potatoes and pot, you know. It's the place to be. Because, you know, it's Colorado. Alright. Here we go. So can we do it? Can we? Um, uh, maybe if I don't freak out. <laughs> Lean on the look backwards stick. I put the look back on the uh, R3. Wow. Okay. That's seriously out of control. Okay. Here I go. Okay, really? Okay. One more time. <laughs> but yeah, so that's... So that's fun. It's weird. I think I only have one kid now old enough to go trick-or-treating. Um, which is... Is it just... Is it two? Okay. Okay, so... Uh, wall! Wall! Other wall! Um, so, two kids going through, which is still weird. Uh, so, I think that's what it was last year, too, so... Uh, yeah, I kind of figure once the kids have gotten to a certain age, I don't know, they don't need to go trick or treat. You know? I understand. You want candy? That's fine. You can buy your candy. But uh, trick or treating and stuff—that's for that's for little kids. You know, these big kids who go trick or treating are just—that's uh, just not cool, you know. Of course, I say that as a not quite yet middle-aged guy sitting talking to his computer while playing video games, so, you know, what do I know about cool? Now the kids actually do think are cool are the teens that go uh, trick-or-treating for foodstuffs, you know, for food bank and things, you know. Go trick-or-treating for canned goods and um, yeah, that, to donate to, sit to the food banks and stuff. That's cool. Um, I'm, I'm all for that. You know, do something do something helpful, you know. Alright. 
I'll tell you, it was kind of nice the first time uh, we were able to go take our uh, younger kids trick or treating and leave the older ones. I'm not going to get any of those times. Nope. Alright, one more time. Uh, leave, leave one or two of the older ones home to pass out candy. That was kind of nice. on the road, but, you know. Oh, those poor people. It's a good thing this is a GTA. I'd be able to crash right through the fence and into that crowd of people. <laughs> for the force field. <laughs> force field keeps the the track. Whoa. I was apparently not paying attention to the uh, mini-map, but I did not see that uh, turn point. Whoa. <laughs> you know what? Let's go do, do another one. Savage Crooks. Alright. UK versus US. Well, it looks like this is about the only one I've got unlocked. These ones I can play, and this one I need to be level 35. McLaren. So, Hennessy it is, I guess. And first place, huh? Well, I guess we'll see. Of course, these night races are so tough. It's just harder to see the harder to see the course. Okay. Okay. Barrel rolls. That's the way to uh, take the lead. Wowzers. Okay. Um, Somebody take note of that time. Uh, this would be a highlight. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> oh, no. Push too much. Is what it is. I'm trying to take these uh, turns a lot faster than uh, you really can. Okay. Let's see. Can I catch up? Quit leaning on the L3 set. <laughs> Pushing too much, that's right. One too many buttons I'm gonna push there. Okay, whoa. Huh. Okay, so uh Stick. <laughs> There's 
no one behind me to even look at. I had this problem when I first jumped to the supercars. Now I'm the hypercar, so I'm back to It's a little too much car for me to get right there. It's like those guys, I don't know if I, every once in a while I see one of those stories. A guy wins a Lamborghini or something, takes it out and he wrecks it the first time he drives it. Because it's just too much car. Too much horsepower to uh, to control if you're not <laughs> if you're not uh, used to it. Yeah. Oh. Okay. I thought I was gonna have taking out a bunch of uh, those little uh, road markers. Turns out it was a guardrail. Put me back on the bus. Okay. Well, hey. It wasn't my fault I collided with him. He, if he wasn't there, I would not have hit him. Slow down, stop, smell the roses. Through all of the uh, exhaust of the <laughs> race cars. So where those power lines are, it's going to be like a tunnel. Survived the turn. And I survived going straight. So that's the that is the question. Oh, all right. <laughs> all right. Well, let's see if I can. Not on that section of the turn. Always take it too fast. Don't start my turn soon enough. <laughs> Looking at the score going on. Not the track. Turns out that's bad. <laughs> They're crashing into things. Finish this in a very solid last. <laughs> oh, that was bad. All right. Well, I think that's the note to end on. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. Um, join me on Thursday at youtube.com slash music free gaming live for the next show I don't know what I'll be playing yet let's see what I feel like on Thursday um, favorite channel like the video all those good things and I will uh, see you Thursday of course don't f if don't forget to donate you know support the show that way share you know all that good stuff that streamers always tell you to do so 
See you Thursday. Be excellent to each other. And uh, this is Music Free Gaming signing off.